I'm good. Great. What about Iris? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad? What did you do this weekend? Um, I joined my friend's uh, birthday party. Birthday yes. party? Yeah. We, At a restaurant or was it we, like? We have a uh, Halloween uh, topic. Oh, past tense. We have? Yes. What's the past tense, right? You already did this. We have? Yes. yes. So what's we, the past? We had. Good. Okay. We had. had, right? You had a party. So the theme was Halloween. What did you dress up as? I want to know that. What did you dress up as? Me? Yeah. Uh, uh, how to say? The mammals actor um i i'm not sure the the english name the english name what uh, do you have like a picture did you look a, a lot like her uh marvel's marvel's oh, Marvel. movies were you the black widow <laughs> the uh not the black widow She's very hot. No, it is a new new actor. Oh, a new mm -hmm. actor. Like a do, do you know Aaron? Uh, do you know the Marvel? I don't. I'm not this, familiar with the newest one. I don't. I'm not sure. The super. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super woman. <laughs> I don't know how to. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're a super woman. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, Iris is superwoman. <laughs> you should have worn it to class. I want to see. Yeah, it it is spend my my time. <laughs> A lot of your time. Did you make the costume yeah. or did you rent it? Um, I I just uh, made some handmade the like the the curl thing and the what. Let's say <laughs> that on the on her head was it like her symbol? Yeah. Or was it like a uh, something you put on your head? Yes, yes. Kind of like her 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 crown. That's cool. That's awesome. Eugene, did you celebrate Halloween? Mm, no. <laughs> Aaron, what about you? Just is barbecue with my friends. I don't understand. Why are people barbecuing on Halloween? Because my friend told me that he's barbecuing. I'm like, no, no. dude, it's I, not Moon we, Festival. We just, want to, <laughs> we just want to eat barbecue. I forgot oh, okay. <laughs> the day is Halloween. Okay, okay. It's okay. Great. So yeah. today we're going to talk about digital footprints. Okay, so Aaron's okay. going to tell us about it. But first, we're going to have a little short introduction. Okay, great. So, Iris, can you tell us a little bit about digital footprint here? Okay, a digital footprint is a trail of data you create while using the internet. It it includes the websites you visit, emails you send, and information you submit to online service. Okay, online service. Sorry, is it online service? Is it just one service? It's very important that you don't forget the last letter. It's online services. Last letter is S. Services. Yeah, so if you only say online service, it will mean only one. But you talk, we're talking about many, everything that you're doing online. Great. Okay. And then the next sentence here, can you continue? Mm -hmm. A passive digital footprint is a data trail you um, intentionally leave online. Okay. So here you unintentionally, do you mean to do it? 
Mm, yes. Okay. If it's intentional, it means you mean to do it. But if it's unintentional, it means you didn't mean to do it. But you, so you don't know. Okay. Okay. So how do we leave digital footprints? Okay. Yu Ching, can you give us an example? What would you be doing do and then you're leaving something behind? I guess when we search something in engine. Okay. And there. Can you give a more specific example? What would you like? Like when I want to buy a dog food and I type dog food in Google engine, then I will leave the digital footprint. So now, like what does the internet know about you? The, the internet know I need dog food and maybe they also know I have a dog. Good, they know you have a dog. Okay, great. Um, Iris, can you give us an example of something? Maybe something that you did recently and this will add to your digital footprint. Okay. Um, such as we use, we chatting online apps or posting photos on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so the photos that you post on your Instagram. Yes. And the, uh, for example, I post my, um, fa my uh, posting photos on Facebook and the Facebook, Facebook in artificial intelligence will search my friend's face then uh, comment me to tag them. Tag, tag them. Tag, yes. tag so them. They will recommend you to tag them. Okay, a little bit scary sometimes. Right. Erin, can you give us something about maybe something people don't really, they might not know that they're being monitored? Oh. Because posting on oh. Facebook and Instagram, I think everyone knows because we, we always do it and we don't really mind. But what are some other things that maybe we don't know and you think that we should be careful about? Uh, as I know, so far as the, if the company want to know your profile, your interest, they need to know your account. So if you, for example, if you use the Google, Google search engine, you, if you log in Google account, Google will know everything about your search history. And for uh, Facebook, if you have, you log in your Facebook account, Facebook also will know your uh, photo, your messages. But even you, you do not log in your account. Uh, as advertising company also can, it's possible to know your footprint because they use some special key on your device. And use this device, they, uh, you, you, uh, use this key, they can collect your information, your device information. Okay. So, Use this device information to get what what maybe you like, you may be interested. Great. Okay, thank you so much. So here I think we're just gonna talk a little bit and have a small discussion before I hand it over to Aaron. So the first question is what is your opinion on digital footprints? Okay. Um, can you give one pro and one con? So an advantage and one disadvantage. So I think um, let's just start with Yu Ching. What do you think? What is your opinion on this? I think it's good or bad. Mm, I think the good way is 
it make make our lives more convenient because they will the internet will appear things you need so even you don't search to detail okay they so will know why you need okay so that's yeah. good so what's the con what's the bad part the bad part is i think there you are um there it make people less security less you mean less safe or feel insecure yes feel less safe okay or feel insecure insecure feel insecure okay yeah so you don't want to make your girlfriend or boyfriend feel insecure right okay so more convenient right we don't more say convenience. convenience but you're talking about the convenience store then it's convenience okay when you're describing about something more then we would say convenient great i think that's good very very good points um aaron and iris do you have anything you would like to add yes um i saw i saw the the document last week the document name is a uh, social dilemma and the document is it was said um the uh, business company they will track track the people's behavior um however they uh they can control the content and to to being sprayed and showed to two people then maybe we uh we uh, uh it maybe it becomes hard to uh recognize the true news or uh, information okay yeah, so, so you don't know if it's true or not is that what you mean yeah. yeah yes so you can say that it was saying or it said because when you say it was said it's already past tense and then past tense right so either you yeah. say it said or it was saying okay okay, okay. great Okay, Aaron, do you have something to add or can we move on? <laughs> I, I think you you guys take a very great example from face side or good side. Yeah. But for me, because my job is to do data research, so for me the pro is uh if I can take the user information, of course from the regulation way, illegal way. Legal reason. Legal or illegal? Le legal, legal, legal. <laughs> regulation, yeah. <laughs> and under the, our regulation, I take, I get the user data. I can take some research and understand our customer or user more, and we can recommend, uh, recommend the right service or product to them. We can avoid too much advertising uh, for the users because it will make a user feel distant. Okay, good. Thanks for the feedback. Great. So how important is the internet to us? Can you imagine your life without it? So this one I think I'll give Aaron because it's more general question, more things more specific I would like him to talk about in his presentation. So Aaron, can you answer this question? Oh, I'll answer this question. How important? Mm, I see. The internet can, the importance of the internet is make a true commu communicate or exchange information anytime, anywhere. I think 
this is the reason why the internet is important. So if we don't have the internet in our life, maybe we can, the range of the people is, uh, how to say, uh, the range of people I can connect will become smaller. It's, it's like a social circle. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I only can uh come talk with my my friends near my life, but I cannot uh chat with my friends who maybe live far away or in other countries or other counties. Yeah. Okay, that's true, that's true. So we're we're very limited in yeah. um I guess distance wise we can't talk or communicate to other people maybe it used to be long distance calls now it's just through the internet we're much closer together right yeah, yeah. But don't you think that people are too focused on using their phones now you know everyone is always looking at their phones when they're crossing the street yeah but is the yeah because of the current smartphone is too smart we can get every information on our phone but so i think it's a difficult it's a, a trade-off you you can uh, get more friends and more information from this technology but you will become more uh, limited on your social social life because you maybe too care about the 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 comments of your friends on the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, who would say care too much, right? Not too uh, much. Care, too care. care, too, much care too much about. Okay, great. Okay. That's true. Okay, so. For Iris, third parties track your digital footprint. Can you give some examples and why they do it? So do you know what it means by third parties? Third parties. Uh, I think the digital big data uh, support the company to know uh, comes Consume, consumers behavior then they will create a more profit profit marketing yeah so we for example if i want to uh, buy new phone i just just stay stay on the page or some pr products then the advising will just jump every day in my screen. <laughs> oh, jump up, right? And say, hey, Iris, do you need a new phone? Yeah. <laughs> so, very interesting. Okay. Um, Aaron, can you add anything about this, this question? Uh, the third party means uh, if, if we, for example, if Google is a play phone, I use this play phone. So the, I am the first side, first party, and Google play phone is a second party. And, and then if Google take your data from other company or other play phone, it's called third party. So I guess this would be saying like, if you're using Facebook and you're, your third party is kind of like Facebook because whenever you're looking at something on Google, maybe you're just browsing a page, yeah. right? Maybe you're buying, maybe Iris wants to buy some clothes. So those are be, you're just going to use the website, but then you're going to start seeing on Facebook and on Google, all of these ads from that website. They're like, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. you got a discount or, Oh, I think, a Goda is a good example. If you search something on on the on a Goda platform, 
you will see the edit edits um on the FB everywhere. Right. Yeah. So it's it's following you everywhere, right? We call it target advertising. Yeah. Right? Targeting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, retargeting yeah. and then retargeting again. Yeah, retargeting. Mm. So I think that's kind of really, I, th I think it's, it feels more scary because the computer, <laughs> the internet knows about you. And mm. it's even more, I think it's really freaky when I'm talking about something to my friend and say like, hey, I think we can buy like a new camera. And then I see on my advertising, there's like cameras and I never typed or research anything about camera i think that is so scary you talk to your friends via yeah i just told my friend i was like hey i'm thinking about getting a camera or like i'm thinking about getting an ipad and i'm just talking about it. i don't research about it at all because that's just something that i i'm, I'm thinking about and then some ad comes up right i think that's really scary but how do you how do you talk to your friends? By your phone or? I think I was just talking to them. I think it was like probably my brother. I was just talking to him about uh, saying that I should get one. But I think because the phone, they have like, we're, we're actually being recorded. So it's a bit freaky sometimes when I see that. Yeah. Uh, okay. So everyone needs to be careful. Okay, so let's go quickly through the examples of digital footprints. Okay, so Aaron, let's look at the first one. Uh, you are searching, you're searching his history. Right, can you give some examples about like what? Mm, search, history, uh, search history is re to break your behavior so you want to, if you want to find something and you type in on on the website, the website will record your search history or your browser also will record this history. Right, okay, so record. It will record, record. your history. Yeah, record is talking about uh, the verb, record. But then if you record. have a bad record, it is a noun. Uh, if you're driving, okay and you are over the speed limit and get a speeding ticket, then on your driver's license, maybe you have a bad record. Okay, uh -huh, right. okay great. Number two, Iris. Tag messages, including delete message. Text. Text. messages. Text. 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 Good. Text. text. Yes. Okay, text message, text. like what? What's a text message? Like such as we chatting online or WhatsApps or WeChat. Okay, right. Um, so different different devices, that's right, or different applications. Okay. So this is even deleted ones because I know like online you can unsend messages, right? You can unsend messages, and I guess you can also delete your messages. I, I think that's a little bit yes. scary. You'll have to think think twice about what you're sending, right? Okay, you Ching. Photos and videos, including deleted ones. Okay, what are some photos that you have taken recently? Photos. Mm, I in my albums there are lots of photos of my dogs. Oh, you you have more photos of your dog than of yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. What about some videos? Also, my dog's video. <laughs> Your dog, okay. So yeah. everything of your dog. So I don't think you need yeah. to worry about anything. Okay, so photos and yeah. videos. Number four, Aaron. Uh, tagged photos, even those you never wanted online. Tagged, not tagged. Oh, ta tagged. Tagged. 
Tagged. tagged photos. Okay, so what are tagged photos? What are something that you don't wish to have online? <clears throat> you have a good example here. I don't want, I don't wish to online. To have online, right. like what? I don't, um, maybe my, my ugly photo. Your ugly photo, like what? <laughs> like what type of photos do you consider ugly photo? Uh, <laughs> Just maybe I fall down and make my friend take a photo. I take a photo. Okay. Yeah. So tag photos. So I guess those that have you in it, but you don't want to be seen. Uh, yeah. Okay. Number five, Iris. Like loves on sites like Facebook and Instagram. Okay. What does that mean? Um... When you're doing what? If I, if I, I like some content or photos, then I will send my likes. Okay, so if you like it, right? So you gotta um, be careful about the things that you like. Yeah, but everyone can see, can see my. Record. Yes. Everyone can see your record. Tra That's trackers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So everyone can see what you're liking, right? Um, sometimes you need to be careful. Is it racist, right? What type of yeah. What type of content? Okay, great. Eugene, last one. Browsing history. Even when you are on incognito mode. Yeah, incognito mode. What is incognito? Um, you don't sh share your name. You don't log in. Okay, so you don't. You guys know don't know what's an incognito, right? Okay. I can share with you guys about what this is. Um, so this is what it is. It is when you go under file. Okay, so when you go under file, when you're looking at your Google Chrome or Safari, there will be one that says new incognito window here. And that means that um, when you open it, um, people will not know any information about you. This is like a brand new window. So sometimes I think sometimes it works is when I'm looking at plane tickets. Um, a lot of the times if there's a cookie or if your computer knows where you are searching your plane ticket, usually they will give a more expensive plane ticket sometimes. So whenever you're searching for um, the ticket here, they don't know where you're, you're flying from. So they will try to search for the cheapest one. Yeah, so when I'm looking for plane tickets, that's something that I always do. I will always use this window. Okay, great. So. You can, you can use <laughs> Safari. Oh, Safari? Safari. Because uh, the Safari version is always uh, stuff to check cookie. Ah, okay. Yes. So it, That's a good it's tip. difficult to check a behavior from Safari browser. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to switch it up and um, let Aaron do his presentation. And then we're going to have some time left for discussion. So first, um, let's all log in again. Okay. And Aaron, I think I'll give you like a minute to prepare and then I'm going to let you share screen. Okay. Okay. Great. Right. So